Hi, I'm Chris Wilson from Grinding Gear Games. Each week we put together a video highlighting a character build from Path of Exile that a player has submitted to us. This is our sixth video, and the last one to be filmed with the 0910 patch. From next week's video, all characters shown will be ones made with the new 0911 passive tree. The character I'm demonstrating today is Kamaya, a ranger made by Renato Baal. This is a pretty complicated build. The owner of the character has posted a full description of the build and all of the choices in the forum. I'll only be covering the most important combinations in this video, but there's plenty of other stuff going on. I'll put a link to his post in the description of the video. At its core, this character is about passively killing monsters while tanking damage. It does this in three ways. Firstly, the character has a ludicrously high block chance. Without any skills active, he manages to get his block rate to 68% by picking every relevant shield passive that he has access to. Note that this passive skill tree layout here is the old one which becomes outdated tomorrow. His block rate is increased to 72% with the use of Tempest Shield, which deals lightning damage to attackers when they are blocked. He has augmented his Tempest Shield with four support gems, including substantial boost to critical strike rate. When you deal critical strikes with lightning damage, the enemy becomes shocked, which increases the damage it takes by 40% for a while. Due to his high critical strike rate, enemies frequently become shocked multiple times. The Elemental Proliferation support gem spreads the shock state out in nearby enemies so that the entire group is substantially more vulnerable to damage. The second way that this character deals damage to monsters is through the Molten Shell skill. This is a protective shield that you can cast which absorbs damage from your armor or when you block. Once enough damage has been absorbed, it explodes. If the enemies are in the shocked state that was previously mentioned, then the damage can be very large. In order to tank better and absorb more damage, the Enduring Cry skill is used. To prevent monsters being as much of a threat, the Enfeeble Curse should be cast on them. This curse was chosen over other alternatives because it doesn't hamper the monster's ability to continue to trigger blocks from your shield. In addition, the Iron Reflex's Keystone passive has been chosen to help boost armor values by converting evasion from sources such as the Grey Sora. The third way that the character kills monsters is with a Detonate Dead Totem. By itself, Detonate Dead explodes a nearby monster corpse to damage enemies. When combined with the totem support gem though, the job of targeting the skill and paying for the mana cost is done by the totem, so it can be done in parallel while you fight the remaining monsters. Because there are so many enemies dying and being reduced to low life, this totem quickly mops up the remaining monsters. He has also augmented this skill with a chance to ignite support gem. For fighting single targets, Viper Strike is used. This one is important because it works well with a low damage melee weapon, such as the Divinarius unique dagger that he is using. This is typically a caster dagger, but the increased spell damage, critical strike rate, and area of effect are important for this build. To demonstrate this character, I'm going to travel to the Broken Bridge area in merciless difficulty. Before engaging the monsters, it's important to turn on the Grey Sora, Tempest Shield, and Molten Shell. You then repetitively recast Molten Shell each time it pops, killing a bunch of monsters. The Detonate Dead Totem is really good for finishing off the group. You can single targets, so you can use Viper Strike. It's very satisfying rounding up quite a large group, watching them all explode together. Yeah, that's quite nice.
picked this area to demonstrate it because there's quite a lot of relatively simple melee and ranged combat without any caster monsters. The author of the build does actually comment on the forum that his build has quite a vulnerability to casters. There is actually a unique amulet that can help him out and he's looking to trade for it. I'll just generate one here so you can see what it does. This is the amulet. As you can see, it's got a 50% chance to block uh, spells, meaning that 50% of your block rate is applied to spells. Um, this has several benefits in this case. It means that both he'll be reducing the damage from the spells because of his huge block chance, but it'll hopefully also be triggering the Tempest Shield and Elemental Proliferation combo, further increasing the uh, field of decimation around the character. I've had a lot of fun playing with this build. It's honestly one of the most original that I've seen for quite some time, and it kind of inspires me, to be honest. So Path of Exile is currently in closed beta. If you'd like to play it before it enters open beta later this year, please buy a supporter pack from pathofexile.com. If you've built a character that you'd like us to feature on one of these videos, just let us know on the forums. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and consider following us on Twitter and Facebook. Thanks very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you online.